All right, guys, back with another video. So today we got a couple things to do. You guys obviously saw the title and thumbnail, so that's a bummer, but I will get to explaining that in a second. But I rode yesterday, and I come to take a look at my bike, and I have a flat tire, and if anyone knows, this is by far the most annoying thing. You literally go ride, and then you come back, and you got a flat, which sucks, but I got to get ready for a race. I'm going to go to Utah to uh, race a qualifier. It's a double header. I'm going to go hang out with Jack. Me and Tyler are going to go. Should be a super fun time, so we have to get the bike all ready and get her mounted up with some NLAV gra graphics which are always going to come out awesome become they, because they always do. And uh, But before we talk about why I'm selling the 450, I'm going to show you guys a new sponsor of mine that I'm super excited to announce. Yo, guys, so my newest sponsor for 2023 is going to be Motul Oil. Massive, massive thank you to Sean. Um, for getting me hooked up with this stuff. I cannot express how awesome this is and how much this really truly helps me out. When you're on such a tight budget like me racing, every little bit of support goes such a long way. So for him to help me out with um, some of the best oil in the game, if you guys know Motul, you guys know this is some really good stuff. They make amazing uh, Shine and Go, Chain Lube, Chain Cleaner, uh, Coolant. So I'm super excited to be running this stuff this year and uh, love to get started with them. We're getting some graphics made for the bike for the race this weekend. As I said, as you guys can see, there's the beast behind me that's gonna be leaving today, so let's talk about that, sadly. Hey guys, this is my 2023 YZF 450 that I previously purchased and was planning on racing throughout the 2023 season of amateur racing and uh that changed right so plans change a lot in this sport especially when you're racing on such a tight budget like i am when i bought this bike i bought another 250 with it and i thought that that was going to be the move but then i realized if i'm going to be racing supercross futures and these other races on pretty much all 250s because i want to win on a 250 because if i'm going to try to get a ride and get on a team for this year i got to be winning on 250s there's not much benefit to me riding the 450 right now, so I am going to be selling it. It's going to be gone today, um, so I'm going to sell this, and I'm going to have a little bit of money left over from selling this because the 450 is so expensive. I'll buy a 250, then with the extra remaining money, I'll just use it to literally just help get me to the races, like I'm going to use the money to get to the race this weekend, actually, um, in Mesquite. So that's the plan. I'm super bummed. I was really pumped to ride this bike. But in this sport, if you guys are involved in it, you guys understand it is so hard to keep racing, especially when you don't have unlimited funds to keep pouring into it. I'm on like the tightest budget possible. So with that being said, ah, I guess she, she's got to go, guys. It bums me out. I know this bike's so good. Seeing Tomac and everybody ride, I was like so pumped. I, I literally haven't started it. Um, it. It's never even been put in gear yet. So it's literally a brand new bike. This has suspension that I got done on it, and we're gonna be selling it. Oh, I keep saying it because I don't wanna sell it, but I, I know I have to. So we're gonna be getting another 250, probably getting like a GYTR kit for that, just so I have some power behind that thing. We're gonna go race uh, Texas Spring Nationals. I have a lot of people asking me that. I will be racing those, and then I'm gonna be getting ready for Supercross Futures in Glendale, so if you're there, say what's up. And uh, yeah, should be cool, but everybody say bye to the 450. And uh, now we got to get the 250 prepped for this weekend. So we're going to get that torn apart, get some Ed Lab graphics. And uh, yeah, bye bye to the 450, guys. She's going to be gone. That's it. Never see her again. Guys, the 450's gone. We, uh, she, she's gone. So he, Dylan just came and picked it up. We sold the bike to Dylan Kuna, so he bought it. Hopefully, he enjoys the bike. Uh, we got our money, so now we can go get another 250, and we have some extra money to keep racing now. So that's exciting. So now we're gonna get to washing the bike because I still gotta tear it apart and get her ready for the race. Um, I have to run some errands as well. I gotta get some light bulbs for the Sprinter van because both lights burned out somehow. And then I also need to get a tire, a tube. I think I need to get a sprocket for this thing. So there's some stuff I gotta go pick up. The bike, it's bright out there, but. So we got the bike. We should be ready to go. I'm just gonna tear it apart, get to washing it all, 
and uh, we'll get some end lab graphics slapped up on this thing in no time we gotta wash our liat boot shout out liat for all the awesome support and uh yeah let's uh, get to washing this beast All right, so bike's washed. We're draining the oil right now. We're getting the oil drained out. And uh, I actually, there is like on a Yamaha, there's these screens down here. That's under, you can see that bolt right there. And it's a thing that you pull out. So pretty much you do that to check the timing chain because it's hydraulic on these bikes. So you just want to make sure the oil's always super good in the motor. And yeah, so we're going to get that changed out for the race and we should be good to go. So we are back, went and ran some errands, got some stuff that I needed. Show you guys, show you guys real quick what I bought. So I pretty much just got a tire, a sprocket, a tube, and an oil filter, and then I got some oil for my truck as well. But I just needed this stuff really quick. I wasn't planning on buying it, or I would have got it through my sponsors, but I just, I had to get it because me and my trainer decided we want to try to go a tooth up on the sprocket, and I needed a tire. Still currently don't have a whole shot device, but we got the chain off, we got the rim off on the bike. So now, I've, the pretty much the last thing I'm gonna do for tonight is scotch bright the frame and the swing arm, get everything looking new. So we're gonna get that done real quick and I'll just show you how to do it just in case people don't know how to do it, but it's super easy. So literally all you guys need is a scotch bright pad and some type of Windex or Simple Green. I'm using this Motul Moto Wash. This stuff's just a lot better than all the other brands in my opinion. But, so you're pretty much just gonna do it. It's gonna make the frame look brand new, pretty self-explanatory, so let's do it to all this real quick. Maybe even the pipe too, I'm pretty sure you can do it on this. It just scratches it up a little bit. All right, we got it all done. Bike looks good. So yeah, I uh, got that done, wet sanded the plastics a little bit. <laughs> so hopefully Nick can get the graphics to stick. Oh, to stick. We'll find out tomorrow when we get out there. Uh, but yeah, it should be good. Thank you for everybody watching the videos. Um, I'm gonna be grinding YouTube this year, really getting as many as I possibly can out. Um, at least one a week. I know I've said that previously, but I'm gonna actually do it. And uh, so we're going this weekend to a qualifier, as I said previously, so I'm gonna be filming videos out there. Me and Tyler are gonna go in the Sprinter van, and then uh, also post a video of me getting the bike ready when I get the graphics and everything, so that'll be tomorrow. So let's get everything going. Thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. Uh, this one was like a true vlog, not, not no ride, no nothing. So hopefully it wasn't too slow for some people, but we're definitely going to keep more of these coming. So appreciate you guys. Mm -hmm.